the excavator just came home from a job and when I was on that job it was the, the excavator was overheating so far the only shot I have of this excavator is overheating and I'm running at speed level 4 or 10 levels so this is not even halfway and if I run speed level 5 that needle will go into the red and a high coolant that warning will spawn so that's been an issue ever since I've had this excavator and it's probably approaching 90 degrees outside right now so it's been doing that probably ever since I've owned it. Um, I guess I just didn't realize that it was an issue and that it was something that was relatively easy to fix. So since it's home, well, I hope it's easy to fix. Since the excavator is here, I'm going to go ahead and remedy the overheating issue, which from what I found on the internet is... Uh, is caused by the belts for the fan and the AC back in there. So I'm going to go ahead and try to replace those. I got the two belts right here. Right there. And we'll see if we can. All right, we'll start here with the windshield washer bracket. Two 13 millimeter bolts right there. Right there. Oh, it looks like there's three, but one broke off. So there's three, but mine only has two. So, there is one belt right there. And the other belt. Is right there. So the tensioner... is that shiny metal, the black bolt. So we'll take that guy out. So it's the bolt facing us and then the bolt that's facing 90 degrees. So just for frame of reference, here's how much movement I have in my belt. In addition to that tensioner right there at the top there's another one down here it's that shiny silver bolt down there so we can get to that from up top here and we got to go underneath the machine for the adjustment I do have another video showing the removal of this bottom pan these are 16 mil okay so now that we're underneath here that bolt right there is the tensioner so we'll have to unloosen that and then we can get that first belt off so let's go ahead and do that 12 mil and it was not very tight All right, well it came loose, and now that tensioner will slide up and down freely. So that'll be, that'll be the slack we need to get the belt off. There it is.
belt is loose right there and we can work it up around doesn't look bad. Mm, it doesn't look bad. It may have just been loose. But I'll keep it as a spare and I'll put the new one I'll put the new one on. So that's the one for the AC. Let's get this one for the fan off and We'll do the same thing. We'll unloosen that bolt in the back there. 13 millimeter. And you can see where the socket is attached. That is the other bolt for the alternator to, to uh, loosen. Right there. So that's a 14 millimeter, and that's located at the bo bottom of the bracket for that tensioner. So there's the top. And then the bottom. So 14 mil. And that should do it. And there it is. There you go. the belt off the pulleys up and over the fan blade a fan blade oh, there it is. again this doesn't look bad it's not wore out there's no frayed edges. Here's the new one. New. Old. Yeah. Doesn't look bad. I think it was just loose. So. I probably didn't have to do this. I just had to tighten it up. But it's always good to have fresh belts. Especially whenever you don't know for sure what the problem is. So, now we'll just do it in reverse, put the new one back on. Kind of loop it over and then work it past the fan blades. This should go right on. All right, pull that tensioner all the way forward, slip it around back, and there she be. I hope there's no direction on this. Is there a direction on that belt? I hope not. Okay, let's get it tensioned back up. As my luck would have it, the V-belt, the 272-7881, is not the correct belt for the AC uh, pulleys. 
I wanted it to go on there and it almost fit but it is just shy it's about I don't know three quarters of an inch too short the other one fit nice that was the right one and that was part 389-1590 that one fit properly so I'm not sure what happened here between the two the original belt The original AC belt is MPMF 1350. So, not sure what happened, so the install will be delayed. I could run it without AC, but who wants to do that? Also, I unloosened the tensioner for the alternator and fan too much, and I lost the nut off the back of the bolt for the tensioner. I can't find it, the thing disappeared. But this is one. Uh, another one off of the bolt because there's three nuts on there and it's an m8 by 1.25 so if you lose it that's what size it is so i'll have to pick one of those up too okay so this is the tensioner bolt this is the tensioner bracket this bolt has a washer at the front and then there's a like a collared washer behind this bracket that kind of fits in uh, it, it recesses into the back of this bracket and then there's a nut behind that and then you have a nut on back further against the back of the bracket that has little tabs on it and I assume that helps to push the bracket back whenever you tighten uh, the, the bolt up so it puts tension on the bracket and then moves the alternator, which is out of view. And then in the very back behind the bracket, you have another bolt. That's the M8 by 1.25 that I lost. So this is backwards thinking. So you actually unloosen this, which will push that little tabbed nut back away from you which pushes the tension bracket back and it'll put tension on the belt it's counterintuitive you have to loosen that bolt to put tension on the tensioner so the belt's on it's tight i'm not sure how tight this thing has to be but i'll run it a couple times i checked the voltage and the voltage was nice and high before i would get a um irregular voltage warning on my display until the machine warmed up that might be normal but that's always happened since i've had this machine and uh i think this might fix it because now there's no slipping whenever you turn that turn the fan before the belt would slip so that's good so that belt is on i want to go ahead and put the original ac belt back on because I got the wrong one and because I want AC so I'll just put the old one back on until I get the new belt and I'll replace it all right this is the original belt going back on for the AC We'll go with that for now, see what happens. Then we'll tighten up the pulley. 14 mil, half inch drive. Would that be better from underneath? Maybe. Definitely not better <laughs> underneath.
because I unloosened it that much. I thought I just cracked it open. Be careful when you're doing this. There's a lot of sharp plastic around, especially those fan blades. Let's start it up and see what happens. Voltage 13, 13.5, 14. Bam. I, I think at times I would see that at, what was it, 10.5 or 11 volts? Of course, that's when I would get the alarm. All right, let's turn the old AC on. I'm going to call that successful with the exception of not having the right belt for the AC uh, pulley. But that's okay. I'll get it. I'll replace it and it'll be all done. So, there you go. On to the next thing to fix, which is going to be this weather stripping around here that's coming off. And the seal that was on the glass here disappeared. And it's got a huge gap in it. And when you're running the AC or heat, uh, that's an issue. So I'm going to fix that. I was putting this thing back together after fixing those belts. And somebody had just stuck a nut on the back of that bolt and I was able to get that broken bolt out so that was easy now I just need to find a bolt to go in there okay one more thing fixed and when you know it look at that I have a bolt for it it's again M8 by 1.25 boom I usually don't get that lucky. So there we go. One bolt, two bolt, three bolt. It's the small things in life.
I've been running about speed eight now for about probably 20, 25 minutes. And it definitely would have been, uh, that needle would have been pegged near the red. And it's just over half. Just over half. That is awesome. So, Joe S., I believe, is the YouTube channel. He had the video on his channel about this originally. I saw it. I'm like, ooh, I'm going to try it. So, thank you to Joe S. I think that's the YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for posting that. I got my excavator back to normal now. So, that's awesome. And that's what makes the internet and YouTube great. Is when you share the experience and share uh, troubleshooting and things that you discover. It's awesome. I love it. And I try to do that too. Although, I wish I could do it more often, but oh well. So, that's it. It's fixed. Let's keep on going. And then one more thing I want to fix is that stupid coax. Uh, the coax connectors keep hitting on this glass, making a horrible racket. So I'm going to fix that next. No big deal. But anyway, that's it. We'll see you in the next one. I should fix you. Rusty. That's that's too bad. I think that's a well-prepared surface. Well, that's kind of okay. I was hoping it would compress a little bit more. Is there adjustment on this thing? Take out those washers. Make it go a little tighter. No, it's better than what it was. Let's go through the window. I don't think there's any one good way to do this on this glass because this top glass will fold up, so it kind of. It'll come down with pressure, so it's going to move the foam if it's adhered to this glass. Actually, I might be better off to put it on this glass. Mm. 
Six in one, half a dozen in the other, I think. And you know what? I put my GoPro up here too. So I don't want to put anything up there. I'm gonna stick it on here. See what happens. Oh yeah, that looks good. That's going to happen. Pushes down. Well, I don't think that's a bad thing. Probably won't last. Yeah, you can see it there. It's already pulling away. Well, yeah, it's pulling away there too. That'll work. <laughs> 